Oh yeah, I just got off work and I've only got about 30 minutes of daylight, but I figured why not go sneak out into the hay fields and see if we could find a big fat freezer dough. in the opening, I probably could have shot her, but I was 100% not ready. Alright, well, I got in here late. I had a little bit of a mess up getting, getting everything set up, but here I am. The deer were already moving. I bumped one that was right in here. Uh, didn't blow at me, just ran off, which is good. But maybe we'll see some deer. The rut should be picking up good now. Hopefully we'll see a buck or two cruising. Maybe even pushing some does. It's in the upper 20s this morning. Just heard uh, a couple of bucks clashing antlers about uh, 50 yards that way into the thicket. Uh, well, I've decided to head back here to the backyard this afternoon. I'm going to go back into uh, some of my better spots here in the next few days. 
and I'll be, I've got a couple of bucks on camera that I'd really like to get a shot at, but for now, I need a little deer meat. Um, I, I, I ran out of ground meat the other day, so I'm going to try to kill me a doe. And they've been pretty frequent here in the backfield. I don't go back here all the time, but when I do, there's usually at least a couple deer, and it's, it's got nice and cold today, so I think they should be coming out before dark. Well, this sure does have a good view up here. I killed a deer out here last year that actually crashed right below this tree. But I, I came out here on foot and shot her from the ground. It'll be a nice afternoon. Maybe we'll see a little bit of blood on the ground. Sometimes it's nice when you can just walk out and sit down and see a doe shoot her like that. I think it worked out good. I think I heard her crash. Alright y'all, it's, uh, it's just now starting to get to prime time, but that doe came out a little early and I'd like to get everything taken care of before dark, so I'll take my muzzleloader with me just in case something happens, but I'm going to climb down and go see if I can track her. So it's about a 45 yard shot and the doe is standing right around here somewhere. Well I found a, a track here where the deer kicked off, right in there. I haven't found blood yet. Now when I watched the video on the little camera screen it looked like I hit her right in front of the shoulder or right at the, right at the shoulder somewhere is where it looked like it hit. But I'm pretty sure I hit her and I'm pretty sure I heard her crash so I'm gonna go back to the truck, get my camera, go back to the truck and uh, put this on the big screen real quick just to make sure I hit her and then I'll come back and look for her in the woods. All right, y'all, I'm here looking at it on the big screen. All right, so I'm gonna do frame by frame here. You can see the bullet. I hit her right in the shoulder. And I almost guarantee that it didn't exit. Alright, so I'm going to take a guess where she went in the woods down here, and then I'm just going to go start walking. So she was standing facing that way. When I shot her, she turned and came back this way. And I did not see her enter the woods because of these trees. So she went up somewhere in here. Wait a second. Oh yeah, didn't see that earlier. There's really not much blood trail 
I'm not sure if she went down this trail or if she went up that way. I heard her crash up that way, so I'm gonna loop around in that direction. This is interesting. This is not from the deer that I shot. Looks like one of my muzzleloader bullets, but that's probably from when I shot the target the other day. Or maybe sometime in the past, but talk about a weird coincidence. I think I saw something. That didn't take long. That's a big old doe. Oh, it came out. We got to exit. Exited perfect. Talk about crappy blood trail. Huh. Well, that turned out to be a perfect shot. It's like I thought, but for whatever reason, didn't leave too much of a blood trail. Definitely did a number on this doe. She's a pretty good sized one. I guess I'll gut her up here in the woods and then I'll drag her out to the truck and we can get to butcher and get some fresh doe. There'll be some deer chili in the making here soon. So this one's really gonna be a problem to drag out. 